Prince Harry is reportedly set to take a solo trip to film his Netflix documentary in South Africa while Meghan Markle will remain in the U.S. as she pursues her ventures. American journalist and royal commentator Kinsey Schofield said the 41-year-old is reportedly staying at a hotel in Los Angeles as she seeks bigger job opportunities. While the two would be staying apart for long periods of time from each other, one expert believes this may or may not bode well for the Sussexes. A solo trip like Prince Harry's to Africa could potentially put strain on a relationship, especially with divorce rumors circulating, Sally told the outlet. According to a credible source, Meghan had phoned a lawyer and drafted divorce papers after discovering Prince Harry's actual gender through images she discovered on Twitter when she was told to have 12 profiles of social media, according to a former Archwell employee. Specifically, on the post are images of Prince Harry tapping another boy's butt, sexually touching them, etc. It seems that Meghan realized that Harry was using the Duchess as a pawn to hide his true gender after Harry came across very angry and frustrated. It makes sense that he's a closeted gay struggling to identify with his sexuality and blames his father slash family for it. Oh dear Harry. Meghan insists it's true when Adam Bidwell always noticed Harry's unusual gender orientation, and he also claimed that Harry often followed him everywhere and showed affection more than friendship with him. Chelsea and Crusader ended with Harry, not only for privacy but for many other reasons behind it. Some of Harry's strange interactions with many men have been dug up in recent days. Typically in the 2016 Invictus Games, Harry, who helped farm the sporting event for wounded warriors, also surprised the participant in Florida when the cheeky soldier, thought to be former UK rifleman Ashley Coles, lifted his shirt to show Harry his tattoo and got a pinch on the nearby nipple to boot. Unfortunately for the horrified soldier, he only got a pat on the shoulder after that, but both laughed off the incident. She's taken her gloves off now. This is one of the things she's had over him. She knew he played both ways. She's got stuff on video from Soho House where she arranged things for him but she can't show those photos etc. to the public because she was spying and filming without him knowing. And it's up now so she can't hold it over him. Fact is many PPL always suspected he was bisexual anyway. The news of Harry has been kicked out of Better Up's San Francisco townhouse. Apparently he's living in a predominantly gay hotel in West Hollywood. Sounds like more fun than living with his wife. West Hollywood, California. The infamous San Vicente, located here long, operated as a clothing optional, men-only motel with a just-smoke-it drug policy. In many ways, it epitomizes West Hollywood's past as a vibrant gay community. Mr. Klein, 43 bought the property last summer and faces a year of chasing city approvals and permits for his overhaul. In the meantime, he's quietly turned the place into what he calls a pop-up hotel, a concept he gleefully describes as a twist on shabby chic. But he also has a lot of headaches with the media's excessive PR. The Hollywood Reporter Society columnist incorrectly reported that Tom Cruise has been spotted at San Vicente when he'd actually been at the Sunset Tower. Tom Cruise wasn't roaming around the gay hotel. Mr. Klein said. How embarrassing it might be true if the person in question was Prince Harry. But for Harry is gay, bye, whatever. He should move forward living his most authentic life, whatever that is.